One of them, Arlene Foster, may have swapped the environment portfolio for Enterprise, but there are still rumblings about her decision not to create an environmental protection agency. All the other executive parties favour an EPA, apparently, so you might have thought that David Ford's attempt to reverse her decision by lodging a petition with 30 cross-party signatures would have found favour within the executive. Not so, and it's all a bit technical. So in a moment we'll hear what the Speaker had to say this morning, but first let's try and step through the process with Mark. Um, we have this petition by the Alliance, they got cross-party support, although not the DUP and Sinn Féin, I believe, on it, and it's been rejected. Do we know why, or what do we know about this? Well, we're still in sort of murky territory at the moment. I mean, basically, uh, we had this uh, decision by Arlene Foster. She opted to keep uh, the Environmental and Heritage Service, her in-house service, basically intact. She's going to give it a new name of the Northern Ireland Environmental Agency, but she has rejected uh, the notion of creating it as an independent agency outside her department, and that was what David Ford and a number of other MLAs wanted. Now, he got together the number of signatures, uh, basically arguing uh, that because this was what is known as a cross-cutting matter, environmental matters obviously pertaining to a number of departments, not just the Environment Department, for instance, the Agriculture Department also has some sort of environmental functions, uh, that Arlene Foster basically not got through the proper process in taking her decision, and that the executive should, should call in her decision and take a kind of collective view on this. This was discussed by the executive on Thursday of last week, and then we had this letter uh, which came out. Now, when we're going to hear it, Willie Hayes talking in pretty technical terms, talking about sections of the Northern Ireland Act. But essentially, uh, the executive has sort of stood by Arlene Foster, says that she didn't break any rules. Um, I think to some extent this is because she's still dealing with responsibilities that are within her, her own department. So they say, look, it's not cross-cutting, doesn't affect all these other departments. Also, it's been suggested to us by one source uh, that it's because the petition which was brought forward by the Alliance talked about something she had not done as opposed to something she had done. They referred to her, her failure to go ahead and actually uh, set up an independent em uh, environmental agency. And I suppose there's lots of things she hasn't done. She hasn't put a nuclear power station here. She hasn't done various other stuff. So uh, they, they say that she may have had, uh, or Alliance may have had more hope of success if they'd actually referred to what she had done. But anyway, as we will hear now from Willie Hay, uh, the answer came back and it was basically, uh, no, go away. OK, let's hear that. Order members. I have a number of matters under Speaker's business to inform members of today. Firstly, I wish to advise members that I have received correspondence dated the 12th of June 2008 from the First Minister and Deputy First Minister in relation to the referral of a ministerial decision to the Executive Committee, and I will quote from the letter as follows. We are writing to advise you of the views of the Executive on those matters on which it is required to respond to you under Section 28b4 of the Act. The Executive considers that the decisions as described in the Assembly Petition did not, in its view, contravene Section 28a.1 of the Northern Ireland Act. It is also the view of the Executive that the matter of environmental co uh, governance is both a significant and controversial matter. The Executive noted the former Minister's decision at its meeting on the 22nd of May 2008 and its meeting today, the 12th of June. Noted the intention of Mr Sammy Wilson, MP, MLA, the Minister of the Environment, to bring to the Executive for discussion and agreement any matters in relation to the implementation of the former Minister's statement on the 27th of May 2008 on environmental governance, which will require a specific approval under the relevant provisions of the Northern Ireland Act and Ministerial Code. For the information of members, I have arranged for a copy of the letter to be placed in the Library. Point of order, Mr Ford. Uh, first of all, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the 30 of us who signed that petition, may I thank you for the speedy and efficient way in which you carried out your duties. Uh, I did not hear in the reference you made for, in quoting from the letter any reference to a formal consideration by the executive of the matter, merely a noting of the proposals of the current minister. Uh, could you confirm to me whether that is the correct impression and if there's any indication as whether there was any vote taken in the executive on the matter of an environment protection agency? The only thing I would say, Mr Ford, the letter, the full letter is in the library. Members should take time and read it. Secondly, this is really a matter now for the executive. The executive must satisfy itself under the 1980 Act requires the Executive to notify the Speaker 
and that's exactly what they have done.